Mastering Adverb Placement, The Dance of Descriptions. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into an exciting aspect of English grammar, the art of placing adverbs, specifically in relation to adjectives. Adverb placement can make your sentences more fluent and expressive. Remember, the magic is in the details, and we're about to unravel these details for you. Let's get started. Adverbs are words that describe or modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. They tell us when, where, how, in what manner, or to what extent an action is performed. In the context of adjectives, adverbs explain how much, in what way, or to what extent something is described. Examples of such adverbs include very, quite, really, and extremely. Example. In the sentence, she is extremely smart, extremely, is the adverb modifying the adjective, smart, telling us to what extent she is smart. When it comes to placement, adverbs that modify adjectives usually go directly before the adjective they are modifying. It is as if they are stepping up to introduce the adjective to the rest of the sentence. This rule applies most of the time and helps the sentence sound more natural. Example. In the sentence, he is incredibly tall, incredibly, is the adverb modifying the adjective, tall, and it comes directly before, tall. But, as with all things English, there are exceptions to the rule. Some adverbs can be placed either before or after the adjective they're modifying, and the meaning remains the same. Enough is a common example of this. Example, we can say, the soup is hot enough, or, the soup is enough hot. However, please note that the former usage, hot enough, is more common and considered more grammatically correct. And that's a wrap. Now you know the ins and outs of placing adverbs with adjectives in your sentences. Remember, the adverb usually goes before the adjective, but there are exceptions like enough. Keep practicing, and soon, using adverbs accurately will become second nature to you. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, keep exploring, keep learning. Until next time, Happy studying.